Welcome here. In this video tutorial, I'm gonna show you a few nice things how you can well make your game more visually well beautiful. And that is the thing which you can achieve very very quickly in Game Maker Studio, so it appears more nicely. And what I mean by that, first of all, this little hover effect, and then this nice gradient, which is just well blending nicely with the background. So we have this little ring here and it looks a little bit bland so we do this hover effect and put the gradient which is just pulsating and changing its alpha but here it doesn't look too good and for example here it just looks so much better because it's blending nicely with the background and that is what i'm going to show you today and of course this thing here uh, which is just an ease function you see a lot of um, game maker studio videos where they just show you the ease function but they don't do anything with it and I'm gonna show you a few applications because easing is so nice and so cool and you can do a lot of a lot of great things to just make your game absolutely superior to the regular ones so let's get right into it this is one of indie I am the developer of the indie game clunky Souls and the programmer slash pixel artist so if you're new here and you want more, consider subscribing to my channel because I upload every two days a video. Let's get right into the good stuff. So first of all we need this little gradient. How can you create it? Basically you can do that in Photoshop but you can do that in GIMP as well. So you just create a new layer, fill it up with a color, uh, with a bucket here, bam, now you have blue and then you want to have a mask put on to that and as you can see the colors have just switched because there are no colors and the black and white is just represent a representation and um, what's going to be shown and not and then you just go for the gradient do it radial and do like this and bam you have your background sprite for your item and that of course you save as a png and let's kill that here and for example if we just go into the room um well the gradient should be a little bit bigger than the ring itself and of course it should have a little different um alpha so how is this thing set up first of all what we gonna need we need four variables these are just a few points you need to have first of all a start and a destination point that could be for example a thing which is a coordinate but you can use it for example for let's say um, the alpha or for a stretching or something you can be creative but, but basically these are just two um, well points for example uh, let's say a start point here and then end point here and for example if you're using this um, ease function which I use then those are gonna get well swapped because now this is the start point and this is the destination point so just go up and down and up and down and then you have this nice little movement which is the easing which you can use for multiple things and the ease functions I'm not gonna go in because they are just scripts and let's go in here and I don't know I'm not gonna explain them there are some videos which do but these things are just common knowledge and you can just copy paste that stuff um, well if you like here and if you want to know more there's a nice video of a guy which just shows you I guess the first two ease and out functions and then you have bounce yeah that's a little bit difficult but basically how you can use them you just have those four well variables which you put in and then you have a fifth which is just this thing which is gonna get manipulated and for example I call it hover because I use that to draw on top of this little gradient here um, this ring here and this is this let's go back in here and then I just have it fixed X and Y position plus this thing which is the hover and that will be between 0 and 3 so it will just hover between 0 and 3 with um, a timer which is running down and once it reaches its end time or here I just call it a duration then well, this hover thing is gonna well 
run this um, script here and then once the timer is running down you just swap the start and destination because once you are at your destination you want to go and start again to go to your point of origin and then you just go in circles and that is what you basically do and this hover variable or call it whatever this is the thing which is changing and that's for example used for changing of the position so it hovers but that for example you can change uh, or use for another thing which I showed uh, which are just uh, well called glow and that is again the is in and is out function and there I have like this the timer the start destination and so on and basically all the same stuff which you're going to see in detail um, well in the other video in the description but here you just need to have like the first time the start the destination because those things are gonna get passed in and gonna be used and then it will return well, what you need and once the timer runs down well just flip it and this is basically it and for example for the for the first thing I use it to hover and the draw event and for the other thing I just manipulate that little um, well, image here with the image alpha which is fixed between 0 0.8 and then this glow thing I divide by 100 so basically you can have a maximum of 10% which is 0 0.1 so it can be between 0 0.8 and 0 0.9 and it will just fluctuate between those two in a time frame of what's the time frame of uh, what is it three seconds so you have a really really nice glow so what you what you just to to visualize it basically have this where are you um this thing here and what i'm gonna do i just do like this it just expands and and gets smaller but for a very small value because well it's just a little subtle pulse and that you can achieve if you have for example uh, a longer timing uh, for the hovering the timing is let's say one second and 20 milliseconds and then you have a quicker movement but that is just a thing you well you change here because this is um, how you can do that so basically I just change the alpha in the same way I just go for the X and Y scale so it just goes bigger and smaller and less alpha and more alpha but never well zero because it can't go below 0 0.8 but that for example you can change as well and for now we would be having the first situation the ring just hovering with the first script and with the second script expanding and getting smaller between well one and a little bit more and then of course the pulsating with the alpha value and because we want to have it a little bit more lighter and blending nicer with the background we do one thing which is GPU send blend mode so there are a few blend modes I guess I did a video already on that so link in the description if you don't know how that stuff works but basically you just set the add blend mode then you draw yourself which is this glow thingy and then you return it to normal and then well, you draw over it your ring which is just hovering and that is basically it no big magic here and then well the same thing I apply for the pointer here so that was basically it um, hopefully that was not too confusing because there's not much going on but these ease functions are quite quite powerful and you can use them for a lot of things not just for the hovering but for example if you have an enemy which is going to one position and going back or for the pulsating of an item because well you expand it a little bit or this glow so you change the alpha you can use it for a lot of things and it's quite quite useful because well sometimes you don't want to have like a linear um, thing you just want to have it let's say in waves or whatever so it just looks better so it has a little bit acceleration and deacceleration um, well, in it. Hopefully that was uh, useful to you. And that was it. Have a good one. One up indeed.